Hello class, welcome to the lecture for 7-3 from the Forrester textbook. Today we are going to be getting deep into the numbers. The numbers are going to tell us the pattern. The pattern allows us to make the graph, and by the graph we know everything. So, the graph is what we need to build. The way we're going to get there is looking at the numbers and what is the pattern within the numbers. So, 7-3 is all about patterns. We are going to have four different kinds of patterns that we're going to look at. There is linear, which is made out of add, add. I'll explain what that means in just a second. There is exponential, which is made out of add, multiply. There is power, which is made out of multiply, multiply. And there is quadratic, which is made out of add, second diff. What is that? Let's find out. So first up, we've got our old friend linear. You've got some x's right here. You've got some y's right here. You can probably see the pattern just with your own beady little eyes right off the bat. So what do we got in going on in the x's? Well, I think you can, you can tell right away that the x's are going up by 2 every time. What's happening with the y's? These y's right here, they're going up by 3 every time. It's pretty obvious. You don't have to think so hard. So if you look at that and you say the x's are going up by addition, for the corresponding y's, we've got to match ordered pairs up, they're being added by 3 every time. So that means this is a linear, linear just one linear, linear kind of equation. So that's the add, add that's where I was supposed to do the repeating. This is an add-add pattern. The x's are adding, the y's are adding. It's linear. Next up, look at these x's here. Yes, those are some pretty similar x's going up by 2, but these y's right here, what's going on with those? So I see they all end in a 5. I'm tempted to think, OK, this looks like somebody's doing some multiplying. All right, so now how am I going to check to see if these really are being multiplied by the same thing every time? Well, I just divide. That's how I'll be able to see. 135 divided by 15 is 9, and 1215 divided by 135 is 9. So if I compare any given one of these y's to the one below it, it's always just multiply by 9. So the x's are going up by 2, and those same matching sets are going up by multiplying by 9. So this is the pattern that we call add multiply. X's are adding, Y's are multiplying, and this means it's an exponential function. X is the exponent. We need to find A times B to the X kind of equation to match this data. Okay? Number three. This is where things start to get a little bizarro. So we've got x's. It looks pretty obvious. Your eyeball just jumps right off these. Your mathy brain says, you're going up by 3. You can't fool me. I know what you're doing. You look at the y's, and you try to find the pattern with the y's. OK, so you say 1080 divided by 135 is 8. OK, so you're multiplying by 8, right? Oh, already I can tell. 1080 times 8 is not going to be that. So I try 3645 divided by 1080. Oh, frowny face, not right, not good. What's going on? But that next one, I think I see something pretty nice about that next one. 8640 divided by 1080. I'm skipping a term. Can you do that? That's 8, so what's the pattern? The x's have fooled you. If you looked at these x's, yes, if I took every single data point, it would be adding 3 each time. But if I look and say 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, if I look at these x's and I do a multiply pattern on them, then I find a matching multiply pattern in the y's. So this is the multiply multiply pattern that is indicative of power functions, a times x to the b. So this is a little bit more tricky to have to figure out. You might want to do some of the practice problems to try to get uh, going with this. But there are a bunch of different patterns that we've got to get used to. That was number three. 
Here comes number four. Again, I'm looking at the X's and I'm feeling very confident. I'm seeing that these X's are going up by two every time. I feel good about that. And then I look at the Y's and I scratch my head in consternation and I say, what is going on? Well, clearly the X's are going up by two. That's a pretty legit pattern. But when I try to say what happened with the X, X, with the Y's, I get a different number every time. But there's no pattern there. But there's a pattern to the pattern. See the, take it to the next level here. So if I look at all of these numbers that I just calculated and I find the difference among those, then I get a consistent picture of going up by 24 every time. So, not very inventively, this pattern is named add second difference. And it is what is true of a quadratic function. So, this is uh, a summary now of the four kinds of patterns that we've uh, looked at uh, in this uh, section, there is add, add, there is add, multiply, there is multiply, multiply, and there is add second diff. Now, if these are a little bit scary for you, you might try doing a couple of the ones from the book. I recommend number four and number 10 from page 311, but we will do more in class, and I will see you then.